Greetings all. I am Destiny Celesta and today I would like to read my salute to President Obama. I salute President Obama. Forward. I actually met President Obama. Well, in my dreams. He was at the top of a staircase in a suit and he called my name. He then came down to my level and asked me, how come you're not a lawyer yet? I simply responded, time management. I am still struggling with that. But the moral of this story is don't be surprised if I become an attorney, author a few humanitarian books, and become Prime Minister of the Bahamas. Reach for the world that ought to be. The Audacity of Hope elucidates on page 25. We will need to remind ourselves, despite all our differences, just how much we share common hopes, common dreams, a bond that will not break. I salute President Obama by Destiny Celesta, published in the Freeport News on the 29th of January, 2011. A stupid person once articulated that the one instructing a person to fly should not interrupt the one flying. I use the word stupid simply because one never knows whether or not such an utterance could catapult a person to an altitude beyond which they otherwise would not have been catapulted. Whilst earning my certificate of higher education in law from the University of Huddersfield, which is situated in the United Kingdom and reminiscent of the Union Jack, I stumbled upon the profound and pulsating realization that the law is naturally and authentically dignified and that the only way to impact and uplift humanity is by starting with myself in addition to reaching out to each person whom I encounter as someone who is at heart profusely identical to myself. The heart has four chambers and is occupied by oxygenated and deoxygenated blood and blood is circulated by the forces of feminine pull, masculine push, and the third force of freedom wields the power to intervene in the inhalation and exhalation process during a person's waking hours. Each heartbeat indescribably transcends space, time, matter, energy and forces of black fear, white love and gray freedom. A life of supremely regal radiance entails knowing who we are, understanding why we are here, and igniting the courage to fulfill our highest destiny. If ever a voice had thunderously solidified substance 
fluid cadence, intense darkness, luminous fire, and penetratingly evolutionary ascent than that of President Barack Obama's does. The distinguished gentleman looks the look, talks the talk, walks the walk, sings the sing, and dances the dance. A 21-gun salute would prove an inadequate tribute. The Right Honorable Prime Minister Hubert Alexander Ingram, serving in Nassau, has sent us on a national mission. Lift up your head. President Barack Hussein Obama, serving in Washington, D.C., has sent us on a universal mission. Eagles must fly. When the maternal moon says jump and the paternal sun says fly, then the libertarian inhabitants of the authentic planet Earth would be remiss not to exuberantly respond to our guardians. How high, how high, how levitationally cloudily, celestially, and stratospherically high. It will definitely not go unpedestaled that President Barack Obama, who enunciated the quote that God calls on us to shape an uncertain destiny, is the proud and deserving recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize for 2009. At this time, I wish to elucidate that on page 25 of President Barack Obama's sensationally touching book entitled The Audacity of Hope, he submits that every human being is somewhat driven by common, virtuous, aspirations by which we all erupt as one. I will venture to add that a person may live the life of an Audi, a Lexus, a Hyundai, but all engines purely rev monotone. We may have all built dealt different hands to play but the same onus is upon each individual person to appear and perform at his or her peak. May we jubilantly celebrate wholesome freedom, feminine fair, and masculine love. May we passionately pursue life, pleasure, superiority, connection, and self-knowledge, and keenly avoid death, pain, inferiority, isolation, and self-ignorance. May we wisely increase in knowledge, beauty, strength, fullness, and highness, and prudently decrease in ignorance, ugliness, weakness, emptiness, and lowness. May we libertarian eagles of all echelons be we wet, dry, cold, hot, blue, red, black, white, or green, all fly, unshadowed, unfazed, and unified. Bahamas for Obama. Yes, we can. Thank you.